Some locations are steeped in mystery and have long-standing legends. Others are considerably more recent, yet their tragic pasts are deeply ingrained in them. A haunted location will always draw thrill-seekers and make your heart race. Welcome to Around the World. Today, we'll be looking at the most haunted places in the world. Are you a fan of our channel? Be sure to subscribe to Around the World and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Number 15. Chateau de Brissac, France. The commune of brissac loire avens which is found in the main Allure region of France, contains the Chateau de Brissac, a French chateau in the brissac quince neighborhood. The Counts of Anjou initially constructed the chateau as a castle in the 11th century. Willem de Ruches received the property from King Philip D of France after France's victory against the English. The most active is La Dane Verde who was allegedly King Charles V.I.'s illegitimate child and was subsequently assassinated in the chateau by her husband in the 15th century after he discovered her having an affair. Number 14. Vangar Fort, India It is reported that Sinhai offered the young royal a love potion in an attempt to seduce her. The wizard's scheme backfired and he died but not before casting his curse on every resident of Bangar. Another legend holds that the fort was cursed by a local ascetic whose property was overshadowed by the fort's shadow. And if anyone tries to construct a roof for the fort, it will reportedly fall down. Bangar is forbidden after sunset since it is considered to be the most haunted site in all of India. Number 13. Port Arthur, Australia over 1,000 people passed away at Port Arthur during its 47-year tenure as a prison colony, and some people claim that their souls are still there today. Since 1870, Port Arthur has been the subject of recorded ghost stories, and ever since then, several individuals have contributed to the town's eerie image by sharing their own recollections of supernatural occurrences. To see the location and learn more, you can reserve a Sunset Ghost Tour. Number 12. Lizzie Borden House, Massachusetts Lizzie Borden's parents, Andrew and Abby, were brutally killed with an axe on a day in August more than a century ago. The haunted mansion is now a bed and breakfast bearing the name of the prime suspect in the killings. The home has been meticulously reconstructed to reflect how it appeared on that tragic day in 1892. Even the meal that Lizzie's parents consumed the morning of their deaths is available to you. Number 11. Dragsholmslot, Denmark. On Zeeland, the island Copenhagen is on, Dragsholm is situated about two kilometers from Denmark's Nexel Bay. From the grounds of the castle, one can see the shoreline, which is a really attractive sight. Around 1215, the Bishop of Roskilde constructed Dragsholmslot. It used to look more like a palace than a fort. At least 100 ghosts are believed to reside in the castle, including the Earl of Bothwell, Mary Queen of Scots's husband, who passed away there while a prisoner. In addition, you might run upon the White Lady, whose skeleton construction workers discovered in a wall in 1930. Number 10. Casa Loma, Canada The medieval castle has developed a reputation as a paranormal hotspot due to the number of accounts from staff and visitors who describe seeing a strange woman clad in white hearing a gruff guy near the stables, or experiencing other paranormal experiences. We believe the white lady to have been a housekeeper who worked here in the early 1900s, during a time when influenza claimed the lives of roughly 60,000 people in Toronto. Number 9. Castle of Good Hope, South Africa. The Castle of Good Hope is the oldest colonial structure still standing in South Africa. It is located in the central business center of Cape Town. When a tall man's apparition was seen leaping down the edge of one of the castle walls in 1915, that was the first time a ghost was reported. A woman's body was discovered during excavations, and since then, the Lady in Grey, another well-known ghost, has not been seen. She used to frequently be seen racing through the castle holding her face and sobbing frantically. There have also been reports of the bell in the bell tower striking on its own 
and of a black dog ghost that pounces on unwary guests before disappearing into thin air. Number 8. The Stanley Hotel, Colorado This well-known Rocky Mountain location is credited with serving as one of the sources of inspiration for Stephen King's The Shining, but it also has a frightening past of its own. Since his passing in 1940, Mr. Stanley's ghost is said to have appeared to visitors checking in at the front desk. Additionally, there are rumors that the late Flora Stanley's ghost, a pianist, can occasionally be heard playing the piano in the vacant music room. Number 7. Street Augustine Lighthouse, Florida When the light was turned out to impede Union ships during the Civil War, this lighthouse gained notoriety. There is a pleasant ghost of a lighthouse keeper that has been sighted by visitors. Peter Rasmussen was one of the initial keepers of the lighthouse. He was renowned for his keen eye and vigilant approach to lighthouse maintenance. He is one of the first ghosts that people claim to come into contact with and was also well known for his love of cigars. Another tower keeper, Joseph Andrew, has been seen and heard by others. He was painting the top of the lighthouse when he plummeted to his death. Number 6. Tao Dan Park, Vietnam Tao Dan is a true haven during the day. Visitors can stroll around its gardens and meandering pathways while birdwatching, looking at sculptures, or just taking in the 24 acres of unspoiled natural beauty. The ghost of a young guy who appears to be lost or searching for something is said to haunt Tao Dan Park's idyllic setting. But this isn't just any eerie phantom. It's believed that the spirit belongs to a young man who perished in the park while enjoying some alone time with his girlfriend. Number 5. Hellfire Club, Ireland It's a great area to wander on Montpelier Hill, also known to Dubliners as the Hellfire Club. The southwest side of the park offers stunning views of the city and a variety of short forest trails. The tale featuring the devil himself is the most well-known Hellfire Club tale. A stranger allegedly joined the club members during a game of cards, according to mythology. Then, as one of the participants bent over to pick up a card that had fallen to the ground, he noticed that the visitor had hooves instead of feet. Number 4. Poveglia Island, Italy The little Italian island of Poveglia is located in the South Lagoon between Venice and Lido and has served as a bastion, sanctuary, place of exile, and graveyard for the sick, elderly, and deceased for many years. When the Bubonic Plague reached Venice in 1348, Paveglia, along with many other tiny islands, was turned into a quarantine colony. The region's mentally sick were housed in a hospital in Paveglia in the late 1800s. The facility was built shoddily and was utilized more for exile than for rehabilitation. There are tales that a doctor conducted bizarre experiments on patients here in the 1930s. Number 3. The Old Vicarage, Sweden Tragic occurrences and eerie activity have taken place behind the creaky wooden walls and walls for more than a century. The vicarage was occupied by the first priest of Borgvetnet in the year 1876. There would be a total of 15 priests who would reside here before the last one ultimately opted to leave because of the spectral activity and there was no other priest willing to take over. The home's occupants have reported numerous sightings, including the appearance of a woman in gray, as well as strange sounds and moving things. Number 2. The Driscoll, Texas The first dead bride, a kind of flavorful auxiliary ghost, is largely unknown. The only thing that is certain is that she committed suicide in room 525 after her fiance called off their wedding and that she is seen walking the corridors in a state of mourning while wearing a Victorian gown. The second bride is the more well-known one, in part due to the fact that she passed away in 1991, but she still adheres to the stereotype of a young, attractive woman who suffers a dreadful fate. 
The bride held a revolver and a pillow in each hand before shooting herself. Since then, visitors at the Driscoll have reported seeing her carrying items or a gun down the hallway before disappearing inside room 525 and never ever opening the door. Number 1. Catacombs, France If you don't mind the dark, dank, and macabre, you should visit the subterranean, which is only partially accessible to the general public. More than 6 million people's remains are housed in the underground tubes of the catacombs. While open-air quarries were present in the area during Roman times, far beyond the city limits of what the Romans called Lutetia, long before it became the capital of France, the catacombs weren't always a haven for human remains. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other videos for great travel destinations and be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about our latest videos.